start start with the putt. Start with, start at the end. Uh, take us through it. All right. So I had like a 15, 20 footer straight downhill, um, breaking a lot right to left. Um, I'm kind of just trying to ease it up down there because you know he's got like eight feet left for par and I could still win the hole. But I'm just like, you know what, just make it and end the match right now. I hit the putt and I'm just like, wow, that looks really good. Start kind of walking it in about five feet before it goes in. Kind of looking at it and once it falls, I just go berserk, go to the team, and all of us are just having the best time of our lives. It was a great experience. And then to come here and uh, to celebrate in true Auburn style, mm -hmm. what's this like? It's great, you know, like you dream about moments like this, and it's just great to be able to celebrate as a whole team. And, uh, you know, not having those other seven guys there, but you knowing that they're supporting you, and like to them too, like it's they're part of this team, and th they did every bit is what we did this week. How did you feel about being in the anchor spot all week? You know, it's, it's it's actually like a really cool spot for me to be in. Just like, I have a lot of confidence. I played a lot of confidence and just knowing like, most of these matches are gonna come down to my match and knowing that I, if I take care of my guy, then we're gonna win every single match. What we about that, that pressure when, when, when it plays out that way? And it's, you know, it's, if you win, your team wins. Mm -hmm. how, how are you able to, to uh, not everybody can handle that. I think it's just like I've grown up playing a lot of golf and I've just experienced a lot of pressure and just being able to thrive under, under it and uh, you kind of you kind of know what your tendencies are under pressure but honestly like I didn't really feel that much this week it's I just think I was just so ready for the moment and I was able to prevail. You we had heard confidence is not your problem. Um, yeah. What has led you to kind of be that way? It, normally like freshmen aren't usually that way especially in this kind of a kind of a deal. Yeah I just think um, you know golf you need to be overconfident it's a, it's a sport that you can get really down on yourself really fast and I just, I just like to have confidence and good attitude. How much match play had you been at before today? I've played quite a bit of match play. I've played three U.S. juniors in the past so that's a stroke play portion and you qualify for match play so I've been able to do that. I've played a couple like uh, Wichita match plays back home and I think that's a good experience and you know the thing about this tournament is that whatever you can't practice this stuff to prepare you and your team, and just being able to do this, that just gives us a huge advantage going forward. Did you enjoy, do you like the match play? Like oh yeah, it's very fun, yeah. It's just it's just great being able to, you know, just play 1v1. It's kind of a different game of golf, but you know, it's it's really exciting. You didn't take much time on that last putt. Talk about that, had you seen that putt before or something? Not, uh, we kind of study the golf course on the, in our uh, practice rounds, but, Honestly, like I'm, I'm a really fast player, probably the fastest on our team. Everyone would probably agree with that. Um, so I was just going through my routine, and you know, I, I knew the break, and I was, I was committed to the putt, and you know, just go ahead and whack it and see if it goes in. It would seem like what happened on 17, it could go one of two ways, and it almost seemed like it ticked you off a little bit. Yeah. Um, and is that more or less kind of the way you approach 18? You know, like. I hit I hit the shot I needed to on 17. Just put it in the middle of the green and make him make a great shot at that. That was a tough pin, and you know he pulled it off. It's the and, right here, you know, one. This is him right here. You know, and uh, he pulled it off, and I'm just like, well, if I was I wanted to be all square going into 18. You know, I just feel like I have an advantage doing that. I thought that at the beginning of the day. Just if I have a chance at the end, I want to be in that position. Talk about Saturday's matches. You guys look like you played really well there too. I'll just stand like this. Uh, the Saturday <laughs> matches. Um, yeah, like we played really well as a unit. Um, my first match, I, I feel like I handled it pretty easily, but um, I don't know. We had a lot of fun. We played well, and my second match, I wasn't able to finish because our other three guys clinched first. But it was just good knowing that you know we played LSU and we didn't lose a match, and they're a really great team. So I gave us confidence going into Alabama. There's not too many guys at this school that get to hit a walk-off against Alabama. Like, can you kind of talk about that and what, what it might mean for you later on? You know, like, at, during the moment, I wasn't really thinking about, like, the huge impact it would have. Right. But, like, after I made that and, like, after I kind of settled down, I was like, wow. Like, I couldn't have done that against a better opponent, first of all, because, like, biggest rivals in Auburn history, basically. And um, it, was, it was just great just to just to beat Alabama, you know? Just, that's the one team that we'd love to just take out all the time.